Hi, it's the Global Online Math Tutor. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to compute the variance of 2x minus 3y. Before I show you how to compute it, I have to explain the following result. And here's the following result. If x and y are uncorrelated random variables then the covariance then sorry then the variance of a little a times x plus little b times y is a squared times the variance of x plus b squared times the variance of y. So let's talk about, so what do we mean by x and y are uncorrelated variables? That just means That means just the covariance of x and y is zero, right? They just mean they're, that's what it means. So that means when x, we say two random variables uncorrelated if their covariance is zero. Now, a and b are just numbers, any number. So this is result, this is saying that the, if x and y are uncorrelated variables, then the variance of this, this sum is just this, is just this quantity for any any number for any numbers a and b. So, and it's to be quite to be precise for any real numbers a and b here to be quite precise. But when we mean numbers, we mean real numbers, not complex numbers. So, so I should write that down. For any real numbers a and b. Now, if you look at it, you should remember that independent random, if the if two random variables, so if two random variables are independent, then that means their covariance is zero. So if their covariance is zero, that means that they're uncorrelated. So independent random variables are uncorrelated. So we can also, for two independent random variables, we can apply this result. And in fact, we can also, I'm going to give you the example. So this is where we're going to use the result here. So the example that we're going to do here, so this is the example, is I want to compute, so the example is I want to compute the variance of 2x minus 3y. And, and what I want to do is suppose x and y are independent And just for simplicity, I mean, suppose, you know, let's say, suppose the variance of x is 1, and the variance of y is 2. So let's do that. So how do you compute this quantity? So how do we compute the variance of 2x minus 3y? And so this is how you do it, okay? We can write this difference as a sum, and this is how you write the difference. So the variance, you can write 2x minus 3y as 2x plus minus 3 times y, right? You can always write 2x minus 3y as 2x plus minus 3y, right? You can always do that, because you can think of, you could distribute the minus into the plus and you get minus, right, if you want to think of it that way, okay? So what we do, so here our a is our 2, so notice that it's in this form. You know, you notice that 2x plus minus 3y is in the form ax plus by. So here our a is 2, our b is minus 3. So we can apply this, you can then we can, um, we can use this uh, result right here. 
So what we get here is this is going to be 2 squared times the variance of x plus, and don't forget you write minus 3 squared times the variance of y. A lot of people don't do that. They just they just square the 3, but they don't ink square, but you actually have to square, you, you, what people do is they square the 3, but they're supposed to actually square the the whole thing. You're supposed to square the minus three, not the three. So this is the, the trick. Okay? And so now what we get here is two squared is four, and variance of x is one, and then plus minus three squared is nine, and the variance of y is two, and this, what we get here is four plus eighteen, and what we get is, this is twenty-two. So, this is how you compute the variance of the 3x, 2x minus 3y. If you have any questions, write your questions in the comment below. And, your, and, and please let me know any feedback on my videos. Your feedback would be great, greatly appreciated. Um, uh, you know, I want your your I want your feedback. Your feedback help me make me help me make me become a better tutor and help me make better uh, math videos. So I like your feedback. Uh, if you need a, if you need a help with your probability course or if you need help with you know calculus right I can help you with that um, if you uh, so I can help with and if you need help with that so please you know my email is in the description below if you are if you are if your child is a high school math student I can help also help with high school math so you get my email is also in the description below so I hope you like this video please like comment share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell, and bye for now.